I have just bought this car. Well, I bought it like last week, but it is a Pontiac Montana from 1999, and it is gorgeous. Uh, it has 103,000 miles and I got it for $350. I'm just gonna take the entire inside of this car out, put a bed in and all the other stuff and make this into a camper. Took pretty much everything out of it and put it in a big pile over here. Took all the stuff off the roof, all the stuff off the sides, all the stuff off the side doors. I took the power door actuator thing out and got the really nice heater and cooler there. That's just like completely independent from everything else. Just picked up a bunch of insulation. It's pretty cool, this thing can actually take a full sheet of plywood, no problem. The rug, and just kinda go like that. Traced it out with some Sharpie right there. Oh, I'm sticking down a bunch of glue, just like that. Fit decently into that, and then the wood just kinda goes over it and averages it all out. I put down the floor, and I got a bunch of stuff on it weighing it down, and started building up the sides a little bit too. You can just fill a little foam in. And once I put carpet over it, you wouldn't even see it. Foam with the carpet over them because it's a lot faster. It's gonna be like weird shapes like this. And also because it's gonna be a lot lighter. If I put wood in there, like I'd have to have a subframe and that would weigh a lot, it'd take a long time. Um, the floor is actually pretty solid. I wasn't sure if it was gonna move around a lot because it is just like foam glued to metal, wood glued to that. But it's not too bad. The next step is to cover this stuff. Uh, <laughs> I was uh, kind of dreading covering all these little things. Finished up a little better. Um, still looks terrible. A lot, of, a lot of terrible chunks. This is half inch ply, and then these side ones are like quarter inch ply. And I think I'm gonna try to bolt these. Um, oops. It's so wide so that when I'm driving, I can look back and just see through all the windows without an issue. And then it goes down so that I can walk through. The back can stay a lot warmer than the front because this, this will lose a lot of heat up here. It just kind of comes in through here. This is just one of the ducts that I cut up there and there's that whole little heater unit and then it gets blown out of that little duct over there. Nighttime has fallen but the work does not stop. I am going to finish this thing. A lot of foam in there. It looks pretty shitty but got all this carpet over here and I'm going to start cutting it and throwing it on. So we got the carpet going in the top. Got a bunch of things holding it up. A bunch of plywood and stuff. So yeah, I rugged everything. I am not an upholsterer. It looks horrible. <laughs> rug on the door and everything. I didn't have enough for the rug on the floor and the back thing and this, but it's not a big deal. I could just buy more and put it on later. I don't want to buy the same rug again. This rug's pretty pretty cheap. It just kind of turns into dust when you pull on it a little bit. Basically, these foam things will just go in the window, sort of like that. You know, apparently people don't like changing batteries, so you can get a car really cheap when you buy a car that has a shit battery. Old and the new. The old looks better than the new though. This new one looks pretty cheap to made. The engine mounts are just like fine too. So I cut up all these sideboards and all these nailers go in there like that and they just get sort of screwed in at whatever height and then I can just lay this top piece on top of this. Yeah, this is kind of silly. I might just end up cutting it off. Um, I wanted to try it though. Rest this up on this edge here and then the bed kind of has like a little slope to it. Got all these cut, 16 inches long each one, and then the bed's like six inches high on top of that, so it's gonna be 22 inches tall. That's, that's too much. Oh. And there is the bed, pretty much. Trying to close some of these gaps. I don't want any gaps at all. It's gotta be perfect. It's kind of a lot wiggly. Um, and that, that plywood will stiffen it right up. Goodbye ears. Mostly set and I'm now putting on the actual flooring. All these are countersunk, um, just so when the bed's on it, they're not gonna pop it or anything. Yeah, just not really worth it. It wouldn't really gone up that much and it would've looked hideous and been terrible. And there is that middle weird piece in there with some gapped panels for expansion. I actually am pretty sure this is not going to be enough. And there it is with the bed on it. Wow! Ho oh, ho! <laughs> thing. I threw the bed frame in here. So I got my bed in there and some bins and stuff. Threw some shelves over there. I got bungee cords holding them down. This piece of plywood on here just as a countertop. Um, plenty of space under there for two giant bins. Just pretty simple, pretty basic. Um, I only had <laughs> three days, like I said. Yeah, so my car works pretty good. Driving up right now to the Northland. And yeah, this 
kind of driving around. This is pretty much why I made this car, so I can drive up into the mountains, crawl into the back, and just have a camp. Um, bunch of shit back there, but yeah. Steven! There it is. So here is the inside of the minivan with me in it. These panels in. It's like 10 degrees outside right now, and it's pretty warm in here. So yeah, this is the inside of my van, and I'm gonna do some climbing tomorrow. Nice. So yeah, I mean the main reason that I made that minivan is so I can come up to the map and get the stuff like this. It's pretty good. I'm actually really stoked on the idea to be honest. It was nice and warm last night. I like fixing it up, the whole back, and uh, getting it registered and insured, like everything. I think it was like a thousand, maybe eleven hundred, but I think it was like a thousand. I made a video about something that isn't enough.